Hey guys, it's Brian at Two Indians, and I gotta tell you, I am gonna miss this bike. So many great rides, so many great memories. I tell you, going all the way back four years ago to the Black Hills to ride through the desolation of the Badlands, the high cliff walls of Spearfish Canyon, and the alien rock formations and vistas of Needles Highway, Iron Mountain Road, and the majesty of Rushmore. Then down to Steamboat, Colorado, through Gunnison and Uray, and riding on this stunning million dollar highway. This bike has been on countless trips through the Smoky Mountains with so many different friends, and sometimes just me and Barbara, but all of it on my trusty Springfield. And talk about reliable, man oh man, multiple 1,000 mile iron butt rides and even one non-stop Red Bull chugging, bladder busting, 24 hour, 1500 mile run around the entire state of Florida. Look at Joe, booster safety. Oh yeah, hey, I got my riding pants on. <laughs> Man, she did so many joy rides around the Southeast too. A weekend at Panama City Beach Rally, Leesburg Bike Fest, Daytona, St. Pete and Bradenton Beach. And of course, my epic trip down to the Florida Keys to honor the memory of my wonderful Aunt Barbara. Not to mention trips up to Savannah, Georgia for the Cruiser Riders of Central Florida Suicide Awareness Ride, and another 2,000 mile round trip ride up to Nashville for the Jack Daniels Challenger Reveal, and of course, all of my backyard rides with all the great locals I'm lucky enough to call my friends. Yep, this amazing bike has endured quite a bit of tinkering too. Two sets of exhaust, several tunes, handlebars, custom seat, and that incredible right, buffalo Ron, brand horn. So, go ahead, honey, hit it. Ooh, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow yeah. An XK Glow light kit, Indian Pathfinder XK LEDs Glow with the halo oh, kit. Here we go. Ba bam <gasps> Look at that. Oh. oh, and don't forget that front fender 19-inch wheel and Challenger war bonnet and the huge power boost from the big bore kit. Oh, and don't ask me how many times I had this thing on a dyno. I don't even want to think about it. But as much as I love this bike, the bottom line is that after I got my Challenger, I stopped riding it. It sat in the garage most of the time, and if I did take it out for a local bike night, Every time I rode it, I found myself wishing I had taken the Challenger. I mean, it's that simple. So, I decided to sell her, and she wound up going to a follower and a friend of the channel who lives up in Georgia. As a matter of fact, Barbara and I went up there last weekend to deliver the bike. Graduation. with my buddy Cody, the guy that bought my Springfield. We're up in Georgia near uh, Warner Robins, getting ready to go on a ride with his local crew. Hey Cody, yeah, yeah. Say, hi, say hi Cody. Hi Cody. Check out his hashtag biker vest tattoo artist, right? Right. Uh, for his embroidery company, which is called Kimbroidery. Look at all this beautiful work he does. Uh, I toured his shop yesterday. It is amazing. The guy can do some really beautiful work. If you need to get patches done, uh, made, right? You do them for biker clubs oh, and yeah. stuff like that, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. What other kind of stuff do you make? Direct is, embroidery, uh -huh. do rags. Okay, do rags, hats also, hats, right? Hats, stitch yep. on hats. Yep, hats. next time we order hats, definitely gonna get them from Drew. Well, this is the wonderful individual that bid so much money, I won't even mention it here, <laughs> on the Bikers Against Bullies calendar that we did to raise money for them. And we really thank you for that. Oh, yeah, that was no an problem. amazing no donation. Problem. We really appreciate it. That was the whole reason why I came up here. And then it just turned out at the same time. I decided to sell the Springfield. Yeah, you you, you post us up. <laughs> this and, man jumped And up. I said I was, I was shaking yeah. the couch cushions out. <laughs> Well, we got a lot of interest in it, but I just felt like my heart was pulled toward Cody, and he got the bike. There yeah. she is over there. Yeah. Look at that, man. I'm going to miss her. I really am. But I'm glad somebody like Cody got it, for sure. Yeah. All right. We ready to go for a ride? I think we are. 
We went out for a gorgeous ride from Macon down to the peanut capital of America, and I was lucky enough to just hang out with some great people, eat some ice cream, and see that my beloved Springfield would be in a good home. On the five hour plus ride home, I couldn't help but think about all the great times I had on that bike. And more than anything else, how lucky I am that I was able to capture most of it on video. That Springfield may be gone now, but the adventure goes on my friends, and my word to you, this channel will continue to grow with more videos and more content and more opportunities for us all to hang out together. By the way, Sturgis is coming up and we will be there, so keep an eye out for me. Are you ready? I am.